Okay, here's the problem we're having with our slide out. Hear how it's bogging down? And there she goes out on that far side. So I thought I should start documenting what's going on with our slide out. So um, I called Lippert who makes the Schwintech slide system direct because they're like an hour away from our house and ended up getting Jason and he says he's going to help me. So my initial reaction is I'm very impressed with Lippert. Like he didn't say like, oh, you got to go to your dealer. I mean, I explained the situation. Here's what I didn't do. Cause I want everybody to understand this. I did not tell him anything about our YouTube channel because I don't want somebody saying, well, he's only helping you because you have a YouTube channel. They know all they know is my name is Patrick McCormick. I didn't say anything about travels with Delaney. So anyway, he's asking me for some information. So I'm out in the trailer right now. I'm actually going to video the slide controller so he can see um, what's happening while it's going out because it blinks a series of lights and um, he needs to know because that'll give him a code. So um, anyway, just we'll, I'll keep you up to date on this, but I wanted to start by letting you know what I'm doing. So I need to go ahead and use this camera so I can record this controller and then get that information to him. The trailer is starting to look like a, a war zone. Uh, no, war zone wouldn't be right, but so if you're wondering, why did you uninstall the solar panel? Well, I'm working with Lippert to try to figure this thing out. And, um, well, this is interesting. Why is the microwave on? We're not on shore power. Yikes. Okay. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is real time. So they didn't want any charging source to the trailer. Um, and you can see this is all uninstalled. They're having me use my multimeter to run some tests. They think it might be a bad controller, but they need me to run one more test and it takes two people. I can't, I can't probe it and put the slide out at the same time. So I got to wait till Patty gets home. I have to say so far, I am really impressed with Lippert components. Like the fact that they're working with me now, obviously you would have to, you know, have a multimeter and you'd have to kind of know what you're doing. But the fact that they're working with me to try to help me diagnose this and, um, so that's awesome. So I'm, I tell you what, I just want to give a shout out to them. I'm, I'm still perplexed why the microwave is on. It only runs on shore power. Oh yeah. But I unplug shore power. Good Lord. Don't tell me we have a major electrical issue with this trailer. Let's make sure Truman and Best didn't come out and plug us in. Okay. You see that? Shore power's off, inverter's off. That is really odd. You see that, right? I want witnesses. Shore power is off, inverter is off. I can turn the inverter on. No, I can't. Okay. Let's go back in and see if the inverter's on. Although I think if it was on at the controller, it would be on out there. Okay, this was not what I had planned on recording for you. And the lighting is going to be bad here. Ugh. You know what, hold on. We can always edit out all of this. Let's get a flashlight, all right? Thank you, Bob. I love this flashlight you gave me over a year and a half ago. This thing is awesome. Bob knows who he is, RW. And Ah, the inverter was on. Okay, well, that's okay. That wouldn't have affected our test that we ran with Lippert. Yeah, it's about normal for Indiana weather. November 1st, just got home from our camping trip with the Fitches. I've got to get the trailer unhitched or backed up, put over there in its parking spot, and it's snowing out. And we've got, like, gray clouds one way, and somewhere up there there's some blue skies, so... That's pretty normal. And you know it's holiday season because look what landed. And I just screamed the holidays. Some fresh pine that fell off the tree. So, got to go ahead. I'm going to dump the fresh water after I get it parked. This thing's going in on Wednesday and hopefully get our slide out done. So I thought I would do an update on the slide out. I took the trailer to the... RV repair center yesterday where we we're getting the work done. Dropped it off. 
pretty excited. Got a call from him a little bit ago. Awesome guy. If you ever need RV repairs over in LaGrange, Indiana, go to Twin Lakes RV. Um, just a super nice gentleman. But um, he just called. He had a wiring harness and a controller in stock. He just decided he'd put his on, see if he gets the slide out out. And he said it didn't change anything. So he called Lippert, and apparently the problem is much more serious. It's either, he said, it could be something jammed in the track, or he said um, it could be it was installed wrong. As in, like, he said sometimes it can even be they didn't make a big enough opening, and it's too tight in there, and it's pinching. So, and he can't work on it now. So... I have to go pick the trailer up tomorrow. And the reason he can't, one, he doesn't have the time. Two, he's worried he's not a Lance um, service center. And if it's the actual box to where they would have to actually cut the trailer, I guess, he would. He just said he doesn't want to avoid my warranty through Lance. So I have a phone call in to Lippert again because Lippert has their own service center. I had to leave a message. I don't know how long it's going to take for him to get me to call back or them to call back. But that's the next step is I'm trying to see if they will take it at their service center, which is about an hour away. Or if they're going to say it needs to go back to a Lance dealer or Lance Direct. So I've also talked to PJ. She's aware of what's going on. And as soon as I get the paperwork from what the gentleman did, she's going to file that with Lance. But um it looks like, and I'm just going to be honest here with you, it looks like we're going to own a trailer with a slide in for the rest of 2020. Because I don't, I mean, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Maybe Lippert will get us in here in the next month. But my thinking is nobody's going to be able to get us in, or they're going to want me to send it to California. And I'm not sending it to California until after the holidays because we need it. And again, unlike the auto industry, they don't give you a loaner. So, there's the honest update, and I will just keep recording these little clips as I get more updates. Thing is, Patty and I are trying to figure out what to do with the trailer. For those of you that, I can't imagine anybody doesn't know this story, but our slide out will not go out. Mm -mm. We had it in for service mm -hmm. this week, and he put on a new harness and a new controller, would not, mm -hmm. did the same thing. He called Lippert, and Lippert said it's a much more serious problem. Yeah. Um, it's either something with the mechanism maybe getting hung up, or it's possible it wasn't installed correctly. Yeah. Up to, he told me, and I don't think this is possible. I honestly don't, but he said it's possible the box that's cut out in the side might not be big enough, and it's pinching it. I find that hard to believe. Because it went out before. Well, it That's did, and Lance uses CNC machines to, to cut, cut, which mm -hmm. which means it's all computer. It's not like a person who maybe gets just an eighth of an inch right. over. Mm -hmm. So, but unfortunately, the service center can't fix it. Nope. He, he doesn't, because he's not a Lance <laughs> warranty center, and it may involve tearing it's probably going to involve tearing the whole slide out yeah, out. to get in there he's worried about voiding our warranty plus he just said he doesn't have time for a project like that so mm -hmm. we're trying to figure out what options i called a lance dealer down in near dayton ohio and initially he was going to make me an appointment for january and i was all excited like yes yeah i know because it would have been perfect to drop mm -hmm. it off on the way home from florida but then he told me no that Yes, you can have the appointment, but you could not bring the trailer in until the day of the appointment because they don't have room and to how's store. How's that going to work? And it was like on a Wednesday, and I'm like, I can't do a Wednesday. In January. In January. Work. I probably should have asked him if he had a, a Saturday appointment later on, mm. but I was so frustrated at that mm. point because I, I kept saying, well, can I at least bring it in the weekend before? If you don't want me to drop it off on January 1st or 2nd or whatever mm -hmm. day we're coming through... And he said, no, you can't bring it in until the day of. So I just said, forget it. Yep. So, yeah, so what we're now thinking is I'm still waiting on the Lippert Service Center to call me back. And they say it can take up to two weeks to get a phone call back from them because they're so busy. But anyway, so we're trying to figure out what to do. So now we're thinking we're, we may just go to Texas yep. at Christmas. But All right, some positive news. Lippert called me back just a little bit ago. And we have an appointment for next Friday. So... That is great news. Now, he did tell me if it's not an issue with the actual parts, then obviously they can't fix it, and that makes sense. But at least if we can rule out it's a Lippert issue, then the next step will be to get the trailer to Texas and probably on to California. So, the roads.
that lay open our many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Beginning to thaw from within Today and not tomorrow There's no time to borrow Today is a good day to live All right, here we go. I've already actually been talking to Josh. We're going to just bring it right in, so... Okay, I just dropped it off. Um, Josh, who I'm working with, awesome guy, had me just pull it straight into the garage. He said maybe they'll even start looking at it today. I showed him what it was doing. And um, so anyway, I'm telling you what, Lippert, I, again, I can't say enough good about their service here. And um, just, just good people. So. We will just be patient now. He said, you know, maybe they'll get to it today, start looking at it. He didn't know, but definitely, but first thing in the morning. And he said he would keep me up to date. So fingers crossed, hopefully soon, this will be the end of this video. I'm really hoping this video doesn't require a trip to Texas. So, okay, I'm gonna go home and get ready for class. All right, I had to stop at Rise and Roll. If you get out this way, you have to come. It's between Shipshawana and Middlebury on US 20. The donuts are amazing. dozen now they have lots of fancy but i'm telling you these they people will refer to these as amish crack because they're so addictive it's just their cinnamon powdered sugar ones and oh my goodness look at that i'm gonna take a bite i'm gonna take a bite i'm gonna take a bite All right, it is Friday afternoon, and I am on my way to Goshen, back to Lippert, going to pick up the trailer. Good news. They were able to figure out what the issue was, and it is fixed. So, uh, a little reluctant to record this till I actually see the thing going in and out. But no, I believe Josh. Uh, I talked to Josh, he, I've been working with him, and, um, he called to say they figured it out. It was actually installed wrong. And luckily, they were able to reinstall it right here at Lippert. I don't have to send it to California to get that done. Um, he was explaining to me that they give them very specific directions on how it gets installed uh, with measurements. Um, they give them a tolerance, and this wasn't really even close. So uh, because it was off, if I understood him right, I believe by maybe a half an inch or more, which doesn't sound like a lot. But when you're dealing with the track system, that can be a lot. And then you're going down the road and the thing's bouncing around. So anyway, he said there was just, unfortunately, enough play in the system that it got bound up on one side and that's what was happening. So maybe when we get over there, I'll see if I can uh, get a little more information. Looky there. Texas in tow slide out goes in and out it is like i put my window up here it is like night and day so we even when we first got it but patty and i both commented that it just seemed sluggish and it was really slow like we would joke like you know maybe we'll get it out before the weekend's over 
Now, it's still not speedy Gonzales, but it definitely goes out faster than it did, and it's so smooth. So, it's just like night and day. I will try to get some footage here into this video. Maybe I've already shown it, I don't know, because I record these clips, I never know how I'm gonna put them together. I will try to show you because, so what he basically told me is it's, it's the box, the, the hole in the side of the wall is probably cut out to the maximum width the lipper would recommend. So even though it could have been cut a little bit smaller, the problem was they did not center it and it got shoved to one side and that's kind of what caused the problem because if it's not centered, then um, it will it will potentially go out crooked and, and it actually bent the whole one unit. And he said, so they've actually replaced like everything on the one side. They've also, which I'll show some video, maybe I'll just put it in here as B-roll, we'll see. Um, they put some side brackets on to help also hold everything in place. So that's gonna help. Um, but you can definitely see the gap at the bottom of the one side how much bigger it is than it needed to be so ultimately it was not a lipper issue it was a lance issue but lipper was kind enough um, to work with me on the so they've got me all fixed up and we're good to go so here's what i'd say if you are having a problem with a lipper system and you are anywhere near goshen indiana give their service center a call um, understand it's like any place they're busy. It may take a while for them to get you in. They know what they're doing and it's going to be done right. And they are super amazing people as far as just great customer service. So I would recommend that. Now, if you are a full timer or something and you're traveling through Indiana, don't think you're going to be able to call them up and say, Hey, I'm going to be in the area tomorrow. Can you get me in? Cause they, they can't do that. They have these appointments that like in my case was about two weeks out, which wasn't bad at all. Um, so just understand that if you're planning a trip, call them in advance, get your appointment and, and then swing through, swing through Indiana. What may happen though, is if they're working on your trailer and it's not their component issue, meaning like my slide out, then you may have to pay for it. And then, um, and then you'd have to go back on lands to get reimbursed, let's say. So, because ultimately it's not their fault that it was installed wrong. Um, so that I would just warn you about. That would be something you would want to talk to them about. And you'd probably want to talk to your dealer or Lance ahead of time or whatever manufacturer. It doesn't have to be Lance. But to get authorization to do that. So all I know is this story is over. The saga is to an end. Hopefully we never have an issue again. But at least I know if we do, I know exactly who I'm calling first. I'm going to call Josh over here at Lippert's. Patty, Patty, <laughs> Patty, what do you think? Look, it's not a tiny trailer anymore. So I should have filmed Patty putting it out, but Patty, I had Patty put it out. What was your thoughts as it went out? A lot quieter, faster. It just was a little different. You definitely could tell mm -hmm. it wasn't right before. Right. Now hearing what it should sound like, I was like, man, that didn't sound right. It wasn't right. No. I don't know that go. I don't know we can see it now. I can't really show you. There's there's like a big gap down here because of the opening basically being too big. Mm -hmm. Um maybe I'll bring it back in at some point. But you can see now we see just a little bit he's they've added two brackets. And it, right? Yeah, to help hold it in place on both sides. So that's which I he was a little I think he was a little worried we might, you know, be weird about these sticking out. I could care less as long as the slide out as long works. As it works. I <laughs> This is great. I know. Look at all this space. <laughs> Truman and Bess are going to be thrilled. This is great. This <sighs> is so nice. Oh. All that worry. Over. I know. Like Over. It's now a, we can start thinking about what we want to do and how it's going to all go down. I know. Now we can start making plans again. Like Christmas. Like Christmas. Like, it might be good to have a site. Yeah. So. <laughs> it might be wise. All right. It's good.